JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for May the 26th. I am Haralamos Pissuros, Head of Research here at JFT and I will talk about uh, yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could have and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, um, the US dollar traded higher against uh, all but two of the other major currencies on Wednesday and during the Asian session uh, Thursday. It underperformed only against GBP while it was found virtually unchanged against ends in the Aussie. Now the strengthening of the US dollar and the Swiss franc combined with the weakening of the risk-linked Aussie and Kiwi suggests that market sentiment deteriorated at some point yesterday or today in Asia. However, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that uh, major European and US indices traded in the green. Uh, only today in Asia, appetite uh, softened. So what happened yesterday, the main event on the economic agenda was the minutes uh, from the latest FOMC gathering, where officials decided to hike by 50, uh, when officials decided to hike by 50 basis points for the first time after uh, I think 22 years, but they also dismissed the chances over a 75 basis points lift off at one of the upcoming uh, gatherings. At one of the upcoming gatherings, noting that they will uh, likely proceed with double hikes in the next couple of meetings as well. Now, back then the US dollar weakened, but as soon as investors digested the idea that even with double hikes, the Fed remains among uh, the most hoggish major central banks, they bought back uh, some dollars. Now, in any case, lately the greenback came under uh, selling interest again due to concerns with regards to the performance of the US economy. But yesterday, the minutes revealed that Fed officials remained confident on that front. They remained optimistic with regards to the US economy. And that's why we saw the US dollar and US equities uh, being uh, bought, meaning uh, trading higher. However, confidence in the, in the economy means that they are willing to proceed with the planned uh, double hikes uh, in June and July. And with Powell saying recently that they are willing to do more if necessary, the chances for bigger hikes after summer, if inflation doesn't slow, are not zero. So that's why, that's maybe why Asian stocks slid today. So we saw Wall Street uh, gaining yesterday on uh, on officials optimism on the US economy, but as soon as investors realized that this means that the Fed will stay aggressive with regards to future rate hikes, um, they this, uh, the appetite deteriorated again, and this was evident by the slide in uh, in equities today during the Asian session. In any case, although we see chances for some stock indices to continue uh, their journey south, we are reluctant to assume that the US dollar has ended its uh, latest correction and it's ready to enter bullish mode again. Why? Uh, the reason is because concerns over the, over the US economy emerged after the FOMC gathering, so the opinion of policymakers expressed in the minutes may be a little bit outdated. Therefore, we see the case for the US dollar to continue weakening for a while more, because we may get some, we, we may still have some concerns with regards to the US economy, and that's why we believe that the US dollar could continue weakening for a while more. Or, or let's say at least until we get clearer signals that indeed officials remain optimistic now as well. So I believe it will be a good time to monitor close, closer and closely uh, speeches by Fed officials from now onwards and 
to see if uh, despite data uh, sparking some concerns of, uh, among uh, investors to see if of if policymakers are more calm and they are still optimistic on the US economy this will confirm the case for a double hike in June and another double hike in July and if inflation doesn't slow it remains to be seen whether uh, they will continue more aggressively now as uh, for today's events uh, markets in Switzerland will stay closed uh, due to the ascension day while later in the day we have the second estimate of the US GDP for the first quarter with a forecast suggesting a confirmation of the preliminary estimate so uh, I don't believe that we will get a major market reaction here if uh, the uh, uh, the second estimate comes close to the first estimate Canada's retail sales for March are also are also due to be released headline sales are expected to have accelerated to 1.4 percent month over month from 0.1 percent while the core rate is forecast to have ticked down to 2 percent from 2.1 percent now with Canada CPIs coming in above estimates last week a decent retail sales report may allow market participants to keep the Bank of Canada into the group of the major central banks which um, which are expected to continue raising interest rates at a fast pace this could support somewhat the loony at the time of the release now tonight during the Asian session Friday we have Japan's Tokyo CPIs for May and Australia's retail sales for April no forecast is available for the headline Tokyo rate but the core one is anticipated to have ticked up uh, to 2% from to 2% year over year from 1.9 percent as for Australia's uh, retail sales they are expected to slow to 1% month over month from 1.6% so that's it uh, from me thank you thank you very much for watching and listening for those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier you can subscribe to the weekly market outlook webinar which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT you can find the link in the in the description below so goodbye have a great day and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.